Beginning with news out of the California capital, flaming Hot Cheetos and Twinkies. They're some of the most popular snacks among kids, but now a bill seeking to forbid state public schools from serving them to students has advanced to the governor's desk. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace spoke with the lawmaker who authored the legislation and joins us with his message. Well, whether they're Twinkies or flaming Hot Cheetos, you can certainly see why kids love this stuff. They're spicy, crunchy, and just fun to eat. By now, some members of the legislature are concerned about the impacts food dyes in these products could have on kids, and they hope the governor agrees. We need to do more to protect our kids. That's why Encino Assemblymember Jesse Gabriel says he wrote AB 2316. If signed into law starting in 2028, it will forbid California K-12 public schools from serving or selling snacks that contain these six food dyes found in many well-known items like Flamin' Hot Cheetos and Twinkies. These food dyes can negatively impact a lot of our children and they can actually interfere with their ability to learn. Gabriel says that's the conclusion of several studies, including this one from the California Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment that found the consumption of some synthetic food dyes can result in hyperactivity and certain behavioral and developmental challenges for some children. I'm somebody who struggled with ADHD as a child. I have one of my three boys that struggles with it. And so I said to me um, to myself, it makes no sense that we are feeding foods to our students that would actually harm them, that would actually cause neurobehavioral harms or interfere with their ability to learn. He stresses this is not a ban, noting if companies modify their ingredients to remove the food dyes in question like they've done in Europe, then the products will still be allowed without issue in public schools. They have hot Cheetos in Europe and they make them without the food dyes and it actually says on the packaging, they brag about the fact that it is made without artificial colors. The bill advanced to the governor's desk after passing both chambers with bipartisan support, but not everyone is in favor. In a statement, the Consumer Brands Association said food safety is a paramount concern to our members. However, this measure usurps the comprehensive food safety and approval system for these colorings and would limit the availability of wholesome and healthy foods. The statement went on to say all of these additives have been thoroughly reviewed by the federal and state systems and many international scientific bodies and continue to be deemed safe. Gabriel disagrees. We don't get enough action in Washington, D.C., and we are really changing the national conversation about food safety, putting the pressure on the FDA to step up and do the right thing. And Governor Gavin Newsom has not yet commented on this bill, but last year he signed a similar bill by Assemblymember Gabriel involving other food additives. Newsom has until the end of the month to either sign or veto the bill. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.